Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. In this video today, we will be discussing briefly about the SOLAS requirements of the portable fire extinguishers and also discussing about the common maintenance carried out on these fire extinguishers. So let us begin with the requirements of the fire extinguishers. Set aside in SOLAS chapter 2 part 2 that is the construction of fire protection, fire detection and fire extinction systems and a part of the FSS code chapter 4. The portable fire extinguishers in terms of the numbers of fire extinguishers, quantity and also the spares have certain regulations that we have to comply with when we keep these extinguishers on board. So the first regulation has to be that if a DCP or a CO2 type extinguisher is put in place at certain spots then the extinguishing media which is inside the extinguisher should be at least 5 kgs and as we have discussed earlier the empty weight of these extinguishers is close to 6.3 to 6.5 kgs. Now that takes us further to the next regulation that is the combination of weight that is the total weight of a portable extinguisher including the propellant the media of extinguishing, the weight of the body and all other apertures on the body total should not exceed 23 kgs and such portable extinguisher which is not exceeding 23 kgs shall have a firefighting capacity of equivalent to 9 liters of liquid extinguisher. It is also to be ensured that in case if we are using a foam extinguishing media inside a portable extinguisher, the capacity should at least be 9 liters. There are other options available as indicated in our previous videos also that there are 6 litre variants but the ones that are suitable for the foam extinguishing media are the 9 litre variants at minimum. It should also be made sure that accommodation spaces, service spaces and control stations are provided with portable fire extinguishers that is these are special places for example the accommodation spaces at the entrance of the accommodation and all the well illuminated and well accessed spaces and similarly the service and the control stations should be provided with portable fire extinguishers. Vessels with 1000 plus gross tonnage must have at least 5 portable fire extinguishers. These regulations are hard and fast and cannot be tampered with that is you will find at least a minimum of 5 fire extinguishers to comply with the SOLAS regulations when you step aboard a vessel that is more than 1000 GT. Also extinguishers intended to be used in a space must be near the entrance as I said earlier that for ease of accessibility, ease of handling and to reduce the time between the actual spotting of the extinguisher and the use these extinguishers are to be visibly highlighted and also to be placed at the entrance as close as possible without any obstruction of the channel or the passage. It is also to be ensured that spare charges are available for 100% of the first 10 extinguishers and 50% for the remaining. That is the initial 10 extinguishers will have 100% of spare charges and after that whatever number of extinguishers are there for them at least 50% of spare charges are to be available on board. The maximum spare charges have to be at max up to 60 units and also if we are using an extinguisher or an extinguishing media that is of non-rechargeable type in that case we have to use spare systems available that is the spare extinguishers available which shall not exceed more than 20 spare units. Also each galley and pantry with cooking facilities must have at least one portable dry chemical fire extinguisher with a capacity of at least 4.5 kgs. That is one DCP type extinguisher should be mandatorily fitted in places of galley and pantry where there is a risk of oil fire or similar nature fire to happen and that is why DCP can act as a effective media in such places. For every 232 meter square of surface area there should be one fire extinguisher with equivalent fire extinguishing capability. This regulation dictates the floor area distribution that is covered by a fire extinguisher in terms of the area that is the approximate area within its range. Each control station should also have a portable fire extinguisher that is the different control stations available on board should have a dedicated portable fire extinguisher. Boiler rooms should have at least one portable foam applicator unit either in the room or at the entrance outside that is segregated boiler rooms we are talking about 
and also open type boiler spaces will have portable foam applicator units which would be accessible and highlighted at the entrance of the boiler area or the boiler loop visibly. In addition to this, it is also to be made sure that the extinguishing media which is used in the accommodation spaces or similar closed spaces where living people or accessibility is a big issue, the extinguishing media should not be of CO2 type. That is in accommodation, bridge spaces and all similar spaces. The CO2 media is not to be used unless otherwise specifically advised and the space can be isolated safely. Now. Once the regulations are done, let us discuss about the maintenance that is the common maintenance routine that is carried out on these fire extinguishers. An annual inspection of a fire extinguisher is mandatory within the SOLAS chapter 2 to requirements as well. That is, these fire extinguishers are to be subjected to an annual maintenance where at least 10% of these fire extinguishers have to be tried in action and then maintenance and checks have to be carried out on all the fire extinguishers. For carrying out these maintenance routines, it is important to identify the type of extinguisher. For instance, a DCP type extinguisher would have a propellant cartridge inside it, so would a foam type extinguisher. So, these extinguishers have a threaded surface at top with the help of which the head and the triggering unit is installed. After removing this unit, the propellant cartridge has either to be checked and then to be replaced and also the condition inside has to be checked. If we are talking specifically about a DCP type extinguisher, the caking of the powder has to be checked and with regards to the manufacturer's validity on the powder, the powder has to be checked and then replaced to make sure that the quality is adequate. Upon the emptying of the container of the extinguisher, the container should also be checked for any possible cracks or indentations that can occur due to the storage condition as well as the temperature and the pressure variations inside the spaces. For example, critical spaces such as engine room, workshop near to the main engine and control room, other control stations can be certain critical places where vibration or temperature variations can be too high. A UV testing can also be carried out on these extinguisher bodies which would essentially give the correct condition and if there is any crack then the length of the crack propagation and the extent of it. It is also important for extinguishers like water extinguisher or CO2 extinguisher and even for the foam extinguishers to be inspected thoroughly for the coating that is available inside the body. Because these extinguishers, for example, the foam extinguisher or the water extinguisher, they have solvents inside them and localized capturing of these solvents can lead to reactions which can thereby deteriorate the condition of the coating inside the fire extinguisher. That is why it is important to do so. Also, the condition of all the pins and latches have to be checked and of all the pressure relief devices, for example, in case of a CO2 extinguisher, the pressure relief disc has to be checked for satisfactory operation and in case if there is any damage, then the same has to be replaced. The spare charges also have to be checked and warranted by the manufacturer or by the competent authority carrying out the survey and the inspection. In terms of external aperture maintenance and checks, the hose for its entire length has to be checked to be made sure that there are no kinks as well as no breakages in the hose because this can not only reduce the efficiency of the extinguisher but can also create a hazard for the person who is operating the extinguisher. And also for extinguishers such as the CO2 extinguisher, the condition of the discharge horn checked and also to be made sure that there are no blockages inside the horn. Similarly, all the extinguishers after being removed for place and once being subjected to inspection have to be checked for the operation of the operating lever as well as the steadiness of the lifting handle to make sure that the aperture is strong enough to operate and carry the extinguisher from the place of the safety to the place of the fire and thereby operating it. For pressure testing specification of these extinguishers, the pressures have already been mentioned in the videos that we have explained before where we have detailed the extinguishers. It is also to be made sure that once these extinguishers are being taken, let's say if the extinguisher is being taken by the sure personnel for testing and then certification, then adequate spare extinguishers either have to be in place or they have to be supplied by the personnel carrying out the maintenance to make sure that even while assured, the ship has sufficient number of portable extinguishers to comply with the SOLAS regulations and also do so in a safe manner. 
for storage of these extinguishers it is very important that once the extinguishers are removed from place for inspection and also as a general routine on our rounds we make sure that all the latches and the straps that is the securing straps are in good condition and there are no breakages or no damages also the body that is the securing body of the latches and the stand has to be connected to a permanent member say a bulkhead directly through a weld to make sure that the extinguishers do not move along or fall from their place there have been incidents in the past on different nature of vessels where excessive vibration and bad weather have let these extinguishers loose and then cause damage in vicinity and also a lot of other hazards have occurred that is why it is extremely important to check the securing condition of these extinguishers also for pre pressurized extinguishers such as the co2 extinguisher common checks on the pressure indicators that is the indicator which have a red or green zone in between them it is very important to check them regularly and to make sure that the pressure range and the condition is always adequate also the previously described checks about the safety pin for ensuring the proper locking of these extinguishers is to be carried out these extinguishers upon weekly and monthly inspection have to be signed by the competent authority available on board and also once the annual inspection of these extinguishers is carried out it is to be made sure that the tags posted on the extinguisher would be carrying the date of the check and also the date of the next check that has to be carried out that means if i am carrying the inspection of an extinguisher on today's date then the today's date will become the date for the present inspection and also the date from one year from the present date will become the validity date of the next check of the extinguisher these extinguishers that is the portable extinguishers are to be made an integral part of as many practical drills on board as possible to familiarize the people on board with the location and also with the operating mechanism and also it has to be made sure that there are no external ingress or any other indentations on the sticker and the identification marks of these extinguishers by doing so and going through these regulations and these routines we will make sure that these extinguishers are readily available for any fire hazard that is going to occur on board and be prepared to fight the fire with complete effectiveness if any point still remains or if there is any doubt regarding the regulations and the maintenance of the extinguishers do feel free to drop into the comment section and let us know and we'll be happy to cover those topics and also i invite you to watch our other videos related to this topic as well as the other topics and subscribe to our channel so as to make sure that we can stay motivated to create more such videos in the future thank you so much